Hey, what up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you with a little uh, update of what happened today. Today I uh, went by uh, Dimple and I went by Toys R Us. Both places I uh, went in looking for one thing and I walked out with uh, something else. Uh, went to Dimple Records. That's like a used CD, DVD, everything, video games in a store in uh, Sacramento. Uh, walked out with the Kane Journey to Hell. I believe this was a Best Buy exclusive. It just has five matches on there. Uh, Inferno match with Undertaker, Last Man Standing, Shane O'Mac. Uh, Till Death Do Us Part match with Matt Hardy, no DQ against Shawn Michaels, and uh, Kane uh, in Edge in a normal match from Vengeance 05. Uh, they uh, tape it shut, so I haven't had a chance to bust it open. I should have thought about that before I was out here. Um, but um, I was really looking for the Macho Man CD. A couple people uh, had asked me to go check out and see if I could find it at a used CD store, so I went there. But I saw this and uh, just decided I couldn't walk out with it. I also saw the DVD I was looking for for a long time. Uh, Million Dollar Tough Enough Challenge. It's got Skip Sheffield and The Miz on there. Just didn't feel like paying $19 for it today. Maybe some other day, but for 5 bucks, I walk out of there with a cane DVD that I don't have and cross one off the list. Uh, walked into Toys R Us looking for the uh, Defining Moments uh, Triple H. Uh, basically, I, I saw this in there. Beer Money, 2-pack. James Jordan, Robert Roode. And uh, that got me thinking about TNA coming to town in October. I had done some uh, some looking around, and this figure was uh, pretty much non-existent online anymore. TNA doesn't carry their figures on the shop TNA, and um, Ringside Collectibles is sold out just about basically of everything of uh, series one, two, and three of um, the uh, Impact uh, figure. So I was like, well, what the hell am I going to get these guys to sign when I go there? They're uh, so nice, and, and they sign for a lot of people, but. Um, you know, what am I going to do? So I picked up the, uh, the Beer Money one. This is a hard one to find. Actually, you go to Chad Rapp's um, uh, channel. Chad Rapp has this signed by uh, jo Storm and Rude. It took him two different shows to go to to get it. Um, but uh, I thought that was pretty cool that he's got it. But there you are. That's probably the, the one reason, besides for Mickey James, to watch uh, TNA right now, even though Robert Rude's out. But I think they're building to him getting a real big singles push right now. So uh, Beer Money 2-pack. Also picked up this... Um, Rob Van Dam, um, Series 4 of the Impact Session. I just liked the look of it. I thought it was uh, pretty cool. And um, I, I, I know, that, I know that, that TNA guys like to sign TNA figures more than sign anything else, so I didn't want to take the chance to bring in a WB figure and it's already being a douchebag. I was figuring that the show's in California. He's from California. He'd probably make the trip up to, uh, to do it. And then I also got this Legends of the Ring, uh, Kurt Angle, uh, TNA. That's the Series 1. And the, the name plate was a little bit off. It's supposed to be there, but it's up there. But, um, you know, pretty cool figure to get. And um, I figure somehow, if I, maybe if I shake it a little bit, I can get it go, to go back down in there. But, you know, pretty cool to get this. Uh, when I was there, I also uh, found a Series 1 AJ Styles. I picked, uh, it looks like this. Uh, but basically, the sides had uh, all been ripped off and they were all taped back on. I had it in my hand and I was wondering why a Series 1 AJ was still at, at Toys R Us. I thought it was really, really weird. And I just kept looking at it because it didn't look right, but I couldn't figure out what it was. They actually did a pretty good tape job. It didn't go too far over where the seam is, but I was like, no, nah, I can't I can't do that. So I, I put that one back. But um, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to get Jarrett and... Um, uh, uh, Jarrett and um, AJ, I think those are about the only guys I would buy figures for in TNA. They had an Eric Young one. I really like Eric Young, but I really was, wasn't make, really to make that $10 commitment in Eric Young yet. I wasn't 100% sold. I like him, but I don't know if I like him 10 bucks worth. I think he could just sign something else. I was uh, also contemplating what I was going to get everybody else to sign at the show, contemplating buying a TNA sort of kid's phone belt. I thought that would be pretty cool to get them all signed. But they also have that pretty cool... Um, Sort of eight by ten book that that has you know basically everybody's picture in there and they walk around and they sign it, um, but I you know you basically don't get everybody in the whole set so I don't know I'll figure it out I thought it was pretty cool what uh, Legend Killer was doing getting that TNA toy ring uh, signed by everybody actually got um, Dix Carter signed it and then after that Cornette signed it and called it a cunt on it but yeah pretty cool there's Rob Van Dam they also had a Samoa Joe there. That was stapled shut. I don't remember what series it was, but I just basically laughed at that. Like, you got to be kidding me. Um, but uh, they have a um, Jeff Jarrett one uh, uh, of Legends of the Ring that I almost picked up. But I'll figure out what I'm going to do. They have a two-pack like this across the line. It's got AJ and it's got Jeff Jarrett. I was figuring maybe I can get that for both of them to sign. And then maybe one of them just to uh, sign on there what their favorite... Uh, match against each other was, I'll figure it out, but they're not coming until October, but I figured I might as well pick these up, um, because uh, you don't know, you know, uh, if you're going to be able to find them when you need them, but there you go, beer money.